sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Dodge this. Alright, so I had the rare opportunity recently to go hands-on with the Matrix Awakens and Unreal Engine 5 experience, and I teamed up with Epic Games. Special thank you to them for letting me have this opportunity, but my god, what you are seeing here is absolutely amazing. This is legit, by the way. This is my gameplay recorded on my PS5 showcasing the Matrix Awakens, and it is incredible. Now, the demonstration is divided into two parts. You're seeing the chase, which is a really cool action sequence. There's some gameplay involved with that. Uh, and then, of course, the, there's the uh, open world stuff, the open world segment, which is really, really cool. We're going to be talking about both and also Unreal Engine 5 because the technology here is mind-blowing all the way around to the facial technology that they're using with Unreal Engine 5 to bring these characters to life. And my God, they have really respected the Matrix. Let me tell you what, so much respect was put into this uh, experience. Uh, and then we're going to be talking about other things with Unreal Engine 5, the physics system going on. The car crashes are insane, as you can obviously see. But, you know, you can use this uh, drone to fly around the open world and the details still hold up. The world itself really strange really really well but when you get zoomed in the detail also holds up it is absolutely incredible and we're going to be talking about some of the creative tools that you can use in this experience as well to really mess around so you're also probably wondering robbie how do i get my hands on the matrix awakens i want to try this for myself i don't blame you well guess what it is free right now you can download it on your playstation 5 xbox series x or Xbox Series S, see the description below to find out more or the pinned comment and check it out. I'm a huge fan of The Matrix and I think you guys are going to absolutely be blown away by this when you finally go hands-on with it and play it for yourself. All right, so you know what? I think we should play some of it. I've got my PS5 controller in hand. Let's do this right now. Let's see what this is all about. Oh man, I cannot wait. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? They were fine with your theoretical mumbo-jumbo, but in 
needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. Nice slide. Sim preparing me to fight the system? Right on. You know about this. Yeah. It's all it's supposed to be a little unreal. <laughs> Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. Dude, there he goes. watched a movie before shoot the tires say no more oh my god Keep them off. you drive no way oh this is actual gameplay oh my god this is insane. What in the world? Dodge this. Oh my god, this is absolutely mind blowing. All right. Whew. Dude, these guys are all over us. My god, they're relentless. Uh, Trinity? They're on the car. Who's the roof? My pleasure. Oh. Of course they have a Crazy. Oh, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Look at those moves, man. Trinity knows how to drive. Let me tell you what. Oh, it's on. Oh, my God. Woo. They are absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Oh yes, bring out the big guns. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh, let's mow him down. Bring it. I can see this agent dude in the background jumping around. Oh! Wow. Oh my god, they're also bringing the big guns. Yeah! Oh. Woo. Look at that. Wow, that was truly insane. What in the world? All right.
That absolutely blew my mind. I think it's time to hop into the open world stuff. So let's do this. Let's talk about the Unreal Engine 5 tech on display right now. What I was really, really impressed with this experience and this demonstration. Uh, you know, a lot of open world games have trouble with the seamless nature of movie quality experiences with the open worldish type stuff. There's usually a drop in quality between the two. Well, Unreal Engine 5 nails it in both. Uh, when you are playing more cinematic moments, it looks absolutely beautiful. And then when you go into your open world stuff, it still really, really holds up. It feels like the same cohesive experience and they've really done an amazing job melding both worlds together, the movie world with gaming. It just feels like it feels great. Let me tell you what. Now they have a lot of technology under the hood for Unreal Engine 5 that are that's going to change the future of gaming for sure and they're using something called the meta human creator it allows them to create thousands and thousands of super detailed npcs very very quickly but also they have technology here that absolutely respect the characters of whatever movie that they're going for in this case the matrix uh, and it just brings them to life in a whole other way. It's so impressive. And then you can hop into the open worldy stuff and the game doesn't miss a beat at all. It really streams nicely. It feels good. And as you can see, the lighting engine, the detail, the NPC technology, which is uh, being run on their mass AI system, all holds up very, very well. And my God, it is absolutely stunning. Just looking at it again, blows my mind and I have been playing this demonstration over and over again because I'm so blown away by the graphics but also it's like this is the matrix I love the matrix you have no idea and to see this just brings uh you know so much emotion uh to me for sure now let's talk about some of the physics going on because the physics engine here is incredible when it comes to car crashes no two car crashes are the same with unreal engine 5 and as you can see when you get into some of these crashes metal crumples together and sometimes you're actually pinned to that vehicle and you are basically trapped and it feels so realistic and looks so real look at that roll right there and all the detail and debris uh flying around but again you know if you use the drone in the demonstration you can go flying around the city and get an idea of the actual scale of what they're creating here uh yeah you got a lot of level of detail between the cinematic moments you have the detailed physics engine but my god you have this entire open world still running simulating it really feels like you have stepped into the matrix and that detail you know it extends into scope but also when you get up close and personal i mean here's an example right here you can literally read the tire pressure on this tire i kid you not you can go up to the newspaper and find out that morpheus evades the police you can see what time it is and uh I, i'm just blown away by the sheer level of detail when you get up close and personal to things because usually open world games can have problems with that but with unreal engine 5 that's just not the case whatsoever now this also extends to the lighting engine by the way i found this really cool uh plaque here where you can actually change the entire lighting system of the world just like that by the way to nighttime i mean there's no loading at all it's completely streaming in instantly changing up the entire environment's lighting on like a snap of a finger you know it's super impressive you see how quickly it streams in it absolutely looks beautiful at nighttime now they did have some really cool tools as well here that you can use and mess around with how much crowd density you want uh do you want that many parked cars you can also turn off the matrix filter which i recommend never shut off the matrix filter uh but yeah you can see what type of uh colors and tones uh that developers can actually use to change the look of the world and this actually significantly changes the feel and the tone and look of the world just with 
you know, shutting on and off the matrix filter. So there's a lot of impressive tools that I think developers are going to be using with Unreal Engine 5 and bringing to us, you know, gamers so we can experience their artistic vision in a way we've never experienced before. But yeah, you can see how the lighting, you just mess around with lighting just instantly. It's so impressive how this engine holds up. It blows my mind. But, you know, right now what I'm going to do is showcase me playing uh, the cinematic car chase scene so you guys can see it in action. Again, check out this demo, I guess you would call it. The Matrix Awakens an Unreal Engine 5 experience. See the links in the description below. It is free right now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. Check it out. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for watching, everyone, and take care and see you next time.